then you came along and gave me strength. I took a chance on myself. I worked hard. I believed. And slowly, something happened. I discovered who I was meant to be. American Career College, when being your best matters. At Lovesack, we design furniture for life. Real life. Messy life. Life that changes and brings us together for movie night. A life where batteries run down and get charged up again. Because now, Lovesack sectionals can be upgraded with Stealth Tech. And immersive surround sound by Harman Kardon hidden inside. Upgradable, washable, and guaranteed for life. Don't just hear it, feel it at a Lovesack showroom near you. Every day, KTLA 5 reports to you, to all of Southern California. We are LA's very own. LA County will stay the course. Right now at 5, Super Bowl safety and security. As football fever sweeps SoCal, what will the city and SoFi Stadium do to keep the big game safe and people protected from the pandemic? I'm tired of reading about a kid in a classroom shot or a teacher shot. Putting student safety paramount, how America's school shooting epidemic could trigger big changes at California schools. The new search all suspicions and parent gun disclosure proposal. But it is bad today, it's real bad. There's a little bit of damage at my house too. My car is shaking as I'm driving. I'm like nervous to drive on the road. A windy Wednesday as wild gusts swallow SoCal, damaging homes and worrying drivers. How long will these lofty winds last? The News at Five starts right now. This is the KTLA 5 News at 5 on this Wednesday. I'm Cher Calvin. I'm Pedro Vera. Thank you for joining us. A lot of excitement in the air as LA gets ready to host the Super Bowl. And today we're learning more about the plans to keep everyone safe. That's right. And they include incentives to address COVID concerns. KTLA's Kimberly Chang has more now from SoFi Stadium. LA County will stay the course. As it's been doing, the County of LA will develop and implement thoughtful and medically informed plans to relax masking and other COVID-19 requirements when the surge is over. During a news conference, LA County officials say COVID-19 masking and vaccination verification guidelines will remain in place with the Super Bowl just days away. Where attendees will need to show proof of vaccination or a negative test to enter. Masks will be available at no charge at all NFL events. Transmission is super high here. Uh, and we've got to get to lower rates before it makes sense to be taking off our masks. Earlier this week, LA County Supervisor Catherine Barter called for an end to blanket COVID-19 masking policies after photos surfaced from last Sunday's NFC Championship game, showing the governor, LA Mayor Eric Garcetti, in SoFi Stadium without masks. And images showed many fans without masks as well. I wore my mask the entire game. And I, when people ask for a photograph, I hold my breath and I put it here and people could see that. There's a 0% chance of infection from that. What we need to focus on is continuing to get people vaccinated. I'm not sure what motivated Supervisor Barger to make her public statement yesterday. Uh, as chairwoman of the board and the person who actually represents SoFi Stadium, I stand by uh, the director of our Department of Public Health and literally every other public health official across the country. NFL representatives responded to questions about enforcement. Many were not checked for vaccination cards prior to entry during Sunday's game. Is it reasonable to expect that these requirements will be enforced and how can they feasibly be enforced at mega events? We will build, and you're starting to see it now, a perimeter fence that, that goes around the entire property here. It gives us the luxury, frankly, and the opportunity to design those and build those, to bring people through them and be able to do the verifications. And Kimberly, you know, we talked about security measures as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, yeah, security preparations are underway in and around the stadium. We know the FBI is working with local law enforcement on security. The LA County Sheriff's Department says that it will include roughly 400 security personnel and the Special Victims Bureau will also be working on hand here to combat human trafficking and LAPD also stepping up patrol around the stadium. We're reporting live in Inglewood. Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5, sending it back to you. Kimberly, thank you.
Now to this, the threat of gun violence at campuses across our country has one local lawmaker pushing for change. State Senator Anthony Portentino, who represents La Cañada Flint Ridge, is proposing a new law that would enhance safety measures at schools. State Bill 906 would require all parents who have guns at home to report that information to school administrators. It would also allow school officials to search a student's property if they hear a credible threat. The senator says that these measures are proactive and could prevent disaster. And the bill comes just after two deadly school shootings in different parts of the country. They both happened yesterday. The first one left one student and another in critical condition in a Minneapolis suburb. Two people were arrested. The second shooting left two officers who were responding to the crisis dead. It happened at Bridgewater College in Virginia. The officers were shot and killed while confronting the suspect. The suspect was tracked down outside the campus and arrested. Classes resumed at UCLA today.